Hey, what is up, guys? So, my dude screws here with a review and unboxing of the EC Cap 284. As you can see, here is the box right there. Um, great capture card, definitely use it for streaming on Twitch. And uh, this is actually a webcam I got on eBay, which is actually not bad, it's 8.8 .8 megapixels. Unfortunately, the cable on it is way too freaking short, so I will have to get a USB extender for that if I want to use it for a uh, face cam over on Twitch. And there's also a headset that I got on eBay. It's actually the Caution Each uh, G9000. Great headset for the PS4. I've tried hooking it up to my PC, but unfortunately I require uh, uh, some splitters that I do not have. So I'll have to get those in the future. But uh, definitely this review is all obviously about the EC Cap 284. So I'm going to put these things away just, you know, real quick. Definitely. Just give me a, look, like a little second here. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the free Pringles promotion going on in the background. Uh, get the honey mustard. Those are actually the best ones. Definitely. Uh, yes, Pringles. All right. So anyway, um, let's go down with the review and unboxing here. All right. So just basically open the box here. And as you can see, there it is. The freaking that is the Easy Cap 284. Very nice. Um, this actually, it actually weighs pretty much absolutely nothing. As you can see, HD 180p video capture, etc. And uh, let's see if I can actually do this. Let's see if I can actually un, un, remove it from the plastic here with just one hand. It's tricky, but there it is. I did it. Nice. All right, so there it is. The Easy e Cap 284. Um, like I said, it barely weighs anything. That's really cool. And uh, no weight at all. It does not uh, does not heat up at all as well. It's the recording button. Uh, you hit that one time you're recording. You hit that again, and you're no longer recording, which is uh, quite nice, but kind of worth it because you have the remote uh, control with the IR sensor and all that, which is included, of course. All right, so here, as you can see, it says YBPPR. That means component. CVBS, that is composite, and HDMI, obviously HDMI. Basically. A green a green light will turn on there, letting you know uh, which signal, uh, which video signal you're currently outputting, which is uh, quite nice. Here is the bottom of the device, as you can see, it actually looks pretty good. And uh, like I said, everyone's quite cool. I got no complaints. My old capture card was always overheating. That is the IR sensor, and as you can see over here, we have the USB host, as we you stick your uh, storage drive and your SD card. As you can see, I already have an SD card in there. Please make sure to, when you format it, format it to FAT32. Otherwise, the videos will look choppy as all hell. It has to be FAT32. Please keep that in mind. All right. So then anyway, we have here. What do we have here? Let's check out the freaking. Uh, check out the ports on this thing. We have the HDMI out. Obviously, that is where you plug in your uh, television, television or monitor. Obviously, HDMI out. Then next to that is the line out, which is where you plug in your headphones. If you want to hear uh, audio out of that, it's actually pretty cool. It actually comes in handy, definitely. And it also has the microphone port. Which is really cool, which works obviously with HDMI in and obviously with the AV uh, in. But please keep in mind that the microphone has to be like this one. It has to be like a simple microphone, an on off switch, and with just one single 3.5 millimeter uh, plug attached to it. If it has like USBs and all that other stuff, uh, it won't work. I doubt it. I've only been able to test it with this microphone, but I know this one works. Which is actually quite cool. You can actually use that with HDMI in, like I said. Uh, I saw other people talking about how it didn't actually work. That's your AV in. That's where you plug in your component and composite, which is concluded in the purchase, of course. And we also have the HDMI in. But please keep in mind that when you, if you're going to be doing PS4 and PS3 gameplay, on PS4 you have to disable HDCP from the options menu. And on the PS3 you have to get a splitter because the PS3 has the HDCP built into the hardware. And they never obviously did anything about that. But you can record PS3 via AV in, either component or composite. I recommend component, obviously. Um, component doesn't look actually that bad. But uh, definitely, if you have a splitter, you want to stream some PS3, definitely, you, you got to get a splitter. If It's the only way to get through the HTTP. All right, so here we have the PC power uh, USB port. Um, quite simple. That's where you plug it into the PC for to stream in uh, OBS studio and power obviously the power on the device you just plug it into the wall and that is it you are good to go um, not a bad capture card definitely for streaming over on twitch not a bad capture card but please keep in mind you need a pretty uh... you need a PC with at least uh, at least two cores to get the OBS to pick it up 
uh, at least you, you know you need a quad core if you want to do some 720p streaming you need a quad core all right so here we have the disk um, this disk actually includes uh, some editing software it's called the Arcsoft, uh, Arcsoft show base uh, which I have not tried out but it also includes the drivers um, this bad boy includes the drivers for the EC cap 284 without those drivers the OBS studio will never pick it up never so you need that disk. that this is actually insanely freaking important if it doesn't bring come to the disc, <laughs> tell the guy that you don't want it because you need those drivers. All right, so what else we got in here? We got the freaking, uh, that's actually the manual. Um, now, the manual, the English on it is actually understandable, which actually blew my mind. I'm going to be honest. That actually blew my goddamn mind. And uh, it actually comes with very uh, detailed instructions for hooking it up with OBS and also hooking it up if you're just going to record it, record from it. So definitely the instructions are actually pretty important as well, definitely, especially for OBS. The other, the recording on it, you can just figure that out by yourself, it's actually quite simple. But when it comes to OBS, OBS is a little bit tricky, but don't, uh, you know, relax. I will be showing you how to hook it up with OBS after we're done, uh, after I'm done showing the, you guys cables and stuff. Alright, so let's see what we got here in my little box of goodies here. Um, let's see, I, we got the USB uh, gold plated, as you can see, it has to be gold plated. If it's not gold plated, it will not power on the device. Um, what is that about? I got no idea. I already tried it with another cable, which was silver, and it did not work. So it has to be the gold uh, plated uh, USB cable if you're wanting to, you know, exchange or something. All right, so we got the AV in, as you can see. It's got this is this is included with the purchase. It's got the freaking it's got component, as you can see, and it also has composite. Um, apparently there are cables that do have S video and RGB in, which are compatible with this Easy Cap 284. But I, to my knowledge, I, I've never seen them. So do they exist? I've got no idea. But apparently they do, according to OBS. All right, so this is the controller. As you can see, the controller is actually quite nice, uh, very light. It comes with the battery, which is nice. And it also has the freaking, uh, it has the record button, as you can see, you press that one, that one time, you're recording, you press it again, you're no longer recording. Um, as you can see, it's got the 720p, 180p, in case you want to change the video signal, CBBS, like I said, is composite, YB, PPR, that is component, and of course, HDMI is obviously HDMI. And you got the snapshot button, that's actually quite nice. Oh, I got, just got this perfect on the guy. You want to get a snapshot of that, you can just press that button, and it actually takes a snapshot instantly, which is quite nice, definitely. And uh, let's see what else we got in our box of goodies. We have the adapter. Um, the adapter, not a whole lot to say here. Uh, the adapter is basically what you use to plug it into the uh, the power outlet. So that's how you power it up, definitely. Um, you, you can use the PC to power it on as well. Definitely. Um, just use the PC for OBS, and just use the the, the adapter for when you're gonna record uh, straight on it. Uh, much better that way, definitely. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to set up this bad boy for use with OBS Studio for streaming. All right, so we are here at OBS Studio. As you can see, I have my OBS uh, Studio up and running here. Um, after you're done installing your EasyCap 284 uh, via the drivers that were included in the disk. Um, you're gonna restart your PC and then after that you're gonna go here to OBS studio um, after you're done plugging in your console to the easy cap um, You're gonna go here. I'm not gonna go into detail on how to plug in your console to the uh, easy cap It's actually quite self-explanatory, but anyway, you're gonna go here to the app and then here you're gonna select video capture device and you're gonna hit OK, and it actually takes just a few seconds for the freaking uh, for the OBS Studio to detect the video signal from the EasyCap 284. As you can see, it says this is the IT9910 capture filter. That's the EasyCap itself. And as you can see, we have the video signal here from my PS4. Go ahead and move that over there to a corner where it does not uh, bother us. And so let's say that's the PS4. All right, that's all fan and dandy. You got the PS4 running via HDMI and whatnot. Now let's say, for example. You want to plug in something via component or composite, something old school, like say for example a PS2 or an N64. Well basically what you got to do is you have to right click on properties, then you're going to go here to the configure, hold on, just move this over here, then you're going to go over here to configure crossbar. Alright now, as you can see you got your output and you got your input. Um, output I have not messed with to be honest I have not done anything with this it does say out of the coder out so I may check that out in the future it anyway video parallel digital in that is HDMI uh, YRYBYN that is component so you're plugging something in via component like say for example a PS3 or PS2 via component you select this video YRYBYN and if you're gonna be doing some stuff with composite then you have to select this video composite in 
which is actually quite self-explanatory as you can see video compressor in there's also video s video in and video rgb in but the cable that is included with the easy cap 284 does not come with s video and rgb in i'm guessing that is a separate cable that you have to purchase uh separately so after you're done doing that you're gonna hit apply and then you're gonna hit okay and then that's pretty much it let's say for example you want to do full screen stuff you want to do something full screen same thing you're gonna go over here to video capture device hold on just move over here you can go over here you're gonna right click then you're gonna hit transform and you're gonna hit stretch to screen and there you go you're now doing full screen uh, ps4 uh, streaming which is quite nice but let's say for example let's say for example though you want to do freaking uh let's say for example you want to do like some kind of cool setup let me just got, show you guys the setup i have here for the uh for my ps4 streams or ps3 streams for that matter let me show you guys so this is my mainstream setup right here what you're looking at right here that's my mainstream setup but either way same thing you go to add you go to video capture device you hit ok don't know why i made that noise just now and then same thing you wait for, for it to pick up the signal which usually takes around five to five to ten seconds i would say there it is picked up the signal you hit ok then you're gonna hit same thing uh, right click transform stretch the screen and then now you can actually manipulate this at will by grabbing the little uh, the little red borders and you can just set it up however the hell you want like so and there you go that's how you do it that is how you set it up with obs not really that difficult to be honest setting up with obs i must mention though that you do need at least a quad core um you want to do some freaking uh 720p streams or 20p you need a quad core you need like an insanely freaking good processor to handle this however if your processor is kind of on the slow side like mine or maybe you got like a dual core or something like me you can actually set the ps4 to 480p and then just make the screen like this or just do full screen and whatnot and it does work if you set it to 480p you can get by with just a regular dual core processor but we want to do 720p uh 60 frames per second and, or 180p 60 frames per second you need a quad core you need like an insanely freaking good processor which i unfortunately at the moment do not have but plan to get in the future all right so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to cut over to me recording stuff on the freaking um uh, on the easy cap 284 itself no obs no pc no nothing just out on the easy cap 284 itself so all right here we go all right so here we are on the ps4 as you can see i have the resolution set to 720p i don't mess with these i don't know what these do to be honest and i already have monster hunter world all fired up here here we go as you can see that's my character she looks pretty cool finally made that armor i've always wanted to make all right, so let's just claim this real quick. The Street Fighter 5 login bonus, and as you can see, yes, I am recording this with the freaking uh, with the cap with the capture card, no OBS, no nothing, just the capture card itself. And yes, I do have my microphone plugged in directly into the capture card, so I'm recording this. I am recording everything at the same time, which is actually kind of cool. I actually uh, saw a few videos where people were talking about how the microphone, the microphone port, wouldn't work if you're recording HDMI. Well, they were wrong, as you can see, because I am recording with the H both the H via HDMI in. And I'm also recording with the microphone, my microphone, at the same time. So it's possible that maybe, I don't know, maybe their microphones weren't simply compatible. Or maybe their uh, versions of the capture card were uh, defective. Uh, whatever the case may be, that is not uh, where I'm at. Uh, with me, the microphone works. The microphone port works no matter what the hell I'm recording. Which is actually uh, quite nice. It's good to know, definitely. And, uh, damn, that is quite the feast. So... What are my thoughts on the Easy Cap 284? Let's do like a mini review right here. I think I really like the Easy Cap first of all because of the price. It's actually not that expensive. You can get this bad boy for for around seventy dollars on eBay, which is not bad for a capture card. Then you can use to record and stream right there on it. It's got plenty of freaking uh, options for input. You know, you got your HDMI in, you got your AV in, you got your microphone in, you got the you know two different ways to record on it. You know, what I mean that's that's the main reason why I went with the card because I can use it to basically record my ps3 my ps4 and any other old console i may want to record in the future like for example you know n64 uh, ps2 etc which is great you know it's good to know and yeah i would love to do some you know ps2 uh, streams and n64 streams and all that stuff with this capture card i can do that i don't know if you can hook up a ps2 to a uh, recent elgato i'm not really sure how that works maybe you gotta get some splitters going on or something i'm not really sure but with this card 
all I gotta do is plug it in via AVN, you know, component composite, then, you know, uh, go to a crossbar, adjust that, and that's it. I'm streaming on Twitch. And, uh, you know, like I said, for the price, you know, if you're a gamer like me, and, you know, you like uploading gameplay with commentary and all that stuff, and you like doing streams with commentary and all that stuff, then I would say definitely, yes, do get this card, because, you know, it's... If you have the money, obviously, of course, go for an Elgato, definitely. You know, just play it safe and go for an Elgato. But keep in mind, if your PC can't support the Elgato, then it's pretty much 150 bucks right down the drain. Because with an Elgato that a PC can't handle, you can't do anything. That's why I went with this car, because my, I knew my computer wouldn't be able to handle the Elgato. But it sure as hell can handle this one, <laughs> that's for sure. But uh, definitely, you know, it's a great car, definitely a great car. And I think also my... Um, that's probably my the, my favorite part of the card, you know, all the input options it has, you know what I mean? So I would say, like I said, if you're a gamer on a budget like me, definitely go for the EC Cap 284. It's actually not that bad, and it goes all the way up to 180p 30 frames per second, which is not bad. 180p 60 would have been great, definitely, but it's not a deal breaker for me, I would say, definitely. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy in recording at 720p 60 frames per second. I'm happy. Just with that, I'm happy. So definitely, you know what I mean, um, great card, great card, I definitely, you know, recommend it. And that is pretty much it guys, I'm going to leave the video right here, hope you guys enjoyed my review and unboxing of the EC Cap 284, later.